How are you today? <coughs> I'm fine. Oh, how was your weekend? It's fun. It's fine. Did you play or learn a lot during weekends? I play. Oh, you play with your brother? Yes, with my cousins too. Oh, that's so nice. So you are so you are many there playing. I think that's very fun. Yes. Okay. That weekend. Oh, I see. Did you just stay at home? No, I just play. No, I play in my uh, play outside. Oh, you play outside. Anyway, let's continue. Oh, by the way, can you hear and see me well? I think yes. Okay, so let's continue what we discussed. We haven't discussed last meeting. So it talks about, are you happy? Are you happy? Yes, I'm so happy. Very good. Everyone is very happy. Now let's let's discuss this. Are you happy? Okay, can you read it first? Okay. Wait. Are you happy? What makes... People are happy or unhappy. What are the ingredients of happiness? Of course, answers differ from person to person. Two elements of of are of phobias. However, social relationships and temperaments. Everyone, everyday stress easily snaps or trouble relationships. Ships with others. So if you are satisfied with your dealings with happy members, friends, neighbor, and college, you're probably quite happy. Conversely, if the relations with people bother you, you're likely to be a very unhappy patient. Some people claim that temperament is everything. They say if you think you are happy, then you are. They will mean the happiness depends entirely upon a life philosophy. And indeed, it does seem to be more important from <clears throat> than any other factor. People often talk about money, but forget this. Not only can money not buy happiness, it, it can't even rent it. People with a lot of money are constantly more distressed from people who have just uh, meet the basic needs. Even big lottery winners return to something that goes to wasteland in a fairly short period. Okay, so this is this talks about being happy. Now, in this first paragraph, it says there are two obvious elements. First one is. First one is is so so social relationships and and uh, temperament. Okay. Temperament, okay, let's learn this word first. Temperament, it is a person's nature or a person's character, a person's behavior that is being temperament. For example, um, can you can you give me your can you give or can you describe your characteristic as a person or your personality? Are you shy? Are you a shy a uh, shy kid? I know. No, okay. What else are you? Are you another? Okay. How about them? How about confident? I think I'm confident. Okay. So confident is one of your temperament or one of your char character as a person. That is temperament and being happy or your being your temperament and relationships with other people 
makes you happy or unhappy. Now, can you please read this word? Okay. Obvious. Okay. We read it one as obvious. Obvious. Yes. Obvious is something like very clear. Now, how about this one? Social. Wait. College. Okay. We read this one as colleague. Oh, colleague. Yes. Colleague is your, for example, if you are already working, your other workers, your co-workers, the person you work with, your teammates, that is colleague. Okay, now let's answer. From the first question, let's repeat this question again. Are you happy? And what makes you happy? I am happy and, uh, and my brother makes me happy. Oh, your brother makes you happy also. So how oh, and how about the things you always do? What are the things that you make happy or makes you happy? He play with me. Oh, he play with you. I see. You you really love playing with your brothers. Okay, now let's go to the opposite of happy, which is being sad. So what makes you feel sad? I feel sad when my uh, when my when wait wait to Hello? Yes? I feel sad when my exam is not good. Oh, I see. When your exam is not good. If your exam is not good, what will you do to make it better? I need to study a lot. Yes, study a lot. Just like our discussion before, if you failed, you try and try again. Right? Okay, now. Right. Yes. In this story, it talks about it. It talks about the two elements. Can you please name the two elements that is being stated in the story? It found in the first paragraph the two elements of being happy. Elements are happy is. I don't know. Okay. First, he already said this. It's the social. Yes. Social relationships and tem temperament. Okay, next question. Why do you think many people think that rich people are happier than the poor? Because rich people have many money and poor people don't have any money. And to do you think? And, yes. Uh, to watch uh, and to play. Okay. So do you think they are happy? If you have lots of money, do you think you are happy already? I think uh, not. Because happy is it to be the truth of Love of the, from love from friend family friends from the anything. Yes, very good because you can't uh, you can't buy love from people. Yes, buy friends and buy family. Yes, very right. Now let's go to the next topic. But before that, let's learn new words. New vocabulary, new vocabulary, and let's give this a sentence example. Okay, let's go to the first one. 
Okay. Taco. Yes, very good. Pronunciation, taco. And do you have any idea what taco is? No, I don't have any idea. Okay. Taco is... It is to deal with something. That oh, is... Okay. Yes, that is taco. The action that you will do when dealing a problem or something a problem that you need to face for example how do you tackle your problem that's the example example sentence or how do you face your problem face and tackle are just the same okay again what is tackle it's face, face. very good it is to face something or to act or to have an action. Next one is. Next one is. Courageous. Okay. We read this one as courageous. Oh, courageous. Yes. And do you know this word courageous? Yes. Yes. And can you tell me what is it? Oh, I think I don't know. Okay, I'll give you. Okay, I'll give you a sentence example. One child was lost, but he is courageous enough to ask help from others. What do you think is courageous? One child was lost, but. He is courageous enough to ask help from others. Oh, I think it's clever. Oh, clever or being? Being brave. Yes, that is courageous. Are you courageous? Are you brave or are you strong? Yes, I am brave and strong. How about your brother? Is he courageous brother, too? Brave. My brother is courageous too. I see you are both courageous. Now let's move to the next one. Well modulated voice. Yes, well modulated voice. It is something that how you control your voice when speaking oh yes that is well modulated you control your voice you you can you can shout you can make it in slow it depends on where you at so well modulated you control your voice when speaking that is a well modulated voice okay next one is this one is deadly. Yes, from the word dead or deadly. What do you think? Or do you have any idea on this word? From the word death, dead. Oh, I think it's die. Yes, deadly is causing someone death. Or we could also say this as fatal. Can you read this oh. word? Fatal. Yes, that is causing someone death or going to die because he or she has a very deadly disease. He's very sick and it will cause him to die. That is a deadly or fatal. Next one is this word. This word, the next college. 
again. Clive. Okay, we read this one as colleague. Oh, colleague. Yes, and we discussed this earlier. Can you still remember what is a colleague? I don't. Oh, oh, I you... yes. oh yes. And it is? It is. I forgot. Okay. It's okay. A colleague is? Can you please read? A person when you are working with. Yes, a person whom you are working with. We call that as colleague. Okay. For example, your mom is in an office worker, right? Yes. Those person whom working with her, she called that a colleague. That, okay. Yes, that is a colleague. Next one is... Haste. Yes, very good pronunciation. Haste. And it is... Action when a fast... Action done when a fast movement. Yes, action done in a fast movement. Or being... You need to work fast. You need to hurry. That is haste. Next one is indecision. In okay, we read this one as indecision. Oh, indecision. Yes, from the word indecision, it comes from the word decision. And there is in at the beginning. What do you think? Okay, indecision is a person who can't make a, cannot make a decision. Yes, a person who can't decide. That is indecision. You can't decide of anything. That is what we called indecision. Again, what is an indecision? It's cannot decide. Yes, very good. Okay, now let me just for today. Okay. Just, just for, the... for today. I will live through the tough ne next tough hour and not try to tackle all the problems in my whole life at once. Therefore, today I will improve my mind. I learn what is today. I read something that requires effort. Soft and consolation. Therefore, today I will be agreeable. I will look for my best. Speak in well moderate voice. Be courteous and considerate. Just for today, I'm not find fault with any friend, relative, or college. I'm not trying to check, change, and improve anyone but myself. Just for today, I will have a program where I might not follow it exactly. But I will come close. I will save myself from too deadly enemies, haste, and indecision. This for today. I will exercise my character in three ways. I will do a good turn and keep it a secret. If anyone finds out, the good dead will count. So I have to do another thing to make up for it. Just for today, I will do two things I don't want to, just for exercise. Just for today, I will be unafraid in particular. I will be courageous enough to enjoy that what, which is beautiful. I will believe that what I give to the world, the world will give to me. Okay, so this is talks about just for today. Yes, and just for today, what did you do good today? Can you name me some? The good things you do today. What are the good things you do today? In school, in house, anywhere. Have a good, uh, 
I'm sorry? I don't know. Oh, so you didn't do anything today? Oh, I just learned today. Oh, so that's what you did today. Just for today, I studied my lesson. It's like here, just for today, he did lots of things for himself. And just for today, he wants to do good. Maybe he wants to help people. That's what he wants to take. Now let's go and try to discuss more. And what does it mean by? Let's go to number one. I will save myself from two deadly enemies. He's an indecision. Okay. Oh, you don't know. Okay, I'll just rephrase this. It says that I will save myself from two enemies, which is his, which is being in a hurry. And next one is indecision or cannot decide. Why do we need to avoid ourselves from working in a hurry and things that we cannot decide? Why to, do we need to avoid that one? Working in a hurry. And? Fast. Some, yes. Okay, let me just rephrase this. In school, if you're, if you're answering your, okay, if you're answering your exam, are you always in a hurry answering it, answering it so that you can finish it fast or you need to take time? Can I, re I'll repeat. For example, in class, your teacher gave you an exam. What did you do? Did you, did you answer it fast or did you take time and read everything so that you can have a perfect score? Oh, okay. Again, for example, teacher gave you a an exam, a test. Okay, she or he gave you a test. Then you received it. Did you answer it fast or no? Yes. You answer it fast so that you can finish it early. Okay, so, okay, let's discuss number one. It means that you need to avoid yourself from working fast and things that you can able to decide. Because sometimes being in a hurry is not good because you might, you might fail because you want to finish it early. You can't do good. So that's what it means by save yourself. So you avoid those things. Okay, now let's go to number two. If anyone finds out, it won't count. It won't count. Okay, let's go back to this one. It's found here. It's found in here. What are the things that if anyone finds out, it won't count. Okay. Okay. What are the things that if anyone finds out, it will not count it found here can you, can you see it
just for today. If anyone find out the new dead wet cat, so I have to do another one to make up for it. Okay, so if anyone finds out the good deed, did is the good actions, it won't count. So we need to do again good action so that and make it as a and keep it as a it's here. Okay. Keep it as a secret. Oh yes. Yes. So if you do good, just keep it a secret so that it will count as good deeds. All right. I'll let you comprehension. How is doing? How is today going to be different? Based on the story, how is it today going to be different? I don't know. Okay. Okay, anyway. It is going to be different today because he will do something to improve or develop about him or himself. Good actions, he will improve. He will improve his mind and he will he will not find fault with any friend relative. And he'll program himself. He will exercise my character in three ways. Yeah, so those are the things that he will do today to improve or develop as a person. Well, today, you want to study hard, so that's how you improve. Today, you want to learn English, that's how you improve. Okay, now let's go to number two. Why will he do things he doesn't enjoy? Why do we need to do things that we don't like? Because we need to do it. Yes, we need to do it because it challenges us. It will challenge us to to be more better or to be good in next day. That is the things that we do even if we don't enjoy it. Even if we don't like it, we still need to do it. Okay? Okay, okay. now, yes. Now, since it's already done, let's just continue the rest next meeting okay okay see you soon